humiliation. That's what last episode was. I think the title was literally that. And I've never felt so rock bottom while seeing my lens through this main character. Bro, Hobin got stripped naked. Not completely naked. But even Bomi wasn't like Bako's hands. And they were like streaming the events too. This is a level of bullying and humiliation that I can't even imagine. But this is just the average regular day in a high school in Korea in Webtoons. Because the bullying in Webtoons, the depiction of it, it's just so insane. Now... I think it's necessary though, because <laughs> someone actually said last episode too, that like bro fell off after four episodes or three episodes. It's kind of true, right? Like we fucking, we, we got lucky in the beginning. We got the viral hit and then what happened? Hoping start to get complacent, right? Hoping start to get complacent and felt like he didn't need to watch more of a chicken man's video. And he actually did fall off and Bako, he was training and now he got the best of us. But hey, we took one month day off or time off. I think we were training. He was fucking grinding. His physical stature doesn't seem to really change that much because it's only been a month. But he has been grinding and learning. And he showed up at the very end to, you know, be the viral hit guy again. Is it gonna work out? Let's begin today's reaction. I swear to God, Rumi was like less than 10k when this season started. Wasn't she at like 5 or 7k in like episode 1? Bitch, you the one that with the money. What do you mean, buy me something? <laughs> Fucking ruthless businesswoman. It's not complete continuation of last episode, I think. <laughs> Bro was ready to fucking do it though, right? Because like, this almost got, you know, Paco's, you know, account fucking banned. You can't just show cock. Snapper. Your true character will show right now if you say yes or no. Snapper, what do you feel about Hobin? Are you friends? I don't really think so. They're like business partners. Honestly? They're not friends though. It all started with the fucking random fight. And then they're just kind of using each other. Like, this is not really ill. I mean, like, truly, I don't think Hobin sees him as a friend. I don't think Snapper sees him as a friend. We just kind of happen to help each other out with the skills that we got. I, I don't remember them ever, like... Like, it all, it all started with, like, fucking... He, like, Hobin was slapping the shit out of this guy with fucking kimchi. He was dual wielding. That's how this all started. Episode live. Friends. <laughs> Bro's trying to jump shit. Oh, really? <laughs> he kind of deserves that. Paco sucks too, but Snapper, come on, bro. It's like, eh, I mean, I used to be, you know, Hoban's producer, the cameraman, but he's been kind of falling off, so... <laughs> Paco's right. He's actually so correct. He used to... I mean, the relationship with Snapper and Paco, that was already not too good before. And Snapper was like, fuck this shit, and kind of went home, but he, he did just kind of go from one to another and one other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fuck you, you piece of shit. I just... I hate every one of you. Alright, let's stream. Okay. Yeah? Let's stream. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he's not wrong. I think Paco... He's an absolute piece of shit. We can all agree on that. But like what he's saying right now, the snapper, suck ups like you annoy me more than Hoban. I don't know. I feel like when like the, the hits that snapper's taking right now, I think it's kind of deserved. <laughs> Doesn't really have a spine. <laughs> this is some Karu is all K shit from a fucking classroom elite to survive. I suck up to those stronger than me. <laughs> but today's episode is called friend so maybe today is the moment where we stop being just business partners that have some hostility towards each other but maybe actual friends between hobin and you know snapper <laughs> you're also an idiot <laughs> i like it when he's being his honest self more than like oh hello taco here <laughs> 100 k bro what like lost like half of that shit before on the downfall on the 
the only reason he fell off is because of the way that he portrayed himself in the beginning, right? Because he was like, oh, I'm Paco. I'm such a good person. Wholesome stream. Let's have fun, right? When you have a mask on, playing a facade, playing some kind of persona that you're not, once people realize that you're fake, everything just falls apart. That's why I think it's so important that if you're ever going to start creating content or be, have like an online presence that you just like be your authentic self and it never um, works in your favor if you try to make your seem, self seem like a white knight, some kind of like really ethical, good, morally, like honest person. If, you, if that's your personality already, then that will work because that's just who you are. But like the most important thing is just like be yourself. Even assholes like fucking Donald Trump or fucking <laughs> Koenji from Class New Elite. Yes, they're absolute fucking assholes, but they don't lie about who they are. And people kind of find that endearing. And this is what Paco is right now. A lot of people support this guy because he dropped a mask. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to just be me. I'm going to root this fucking asshole. Haters, fuck you. And people love him. <laughs> Entertainment. High school gangster Paco. He did a rebrand. He's a high school gangster now. I think this makes a lot of sense. I think this makes a lot of sense why he's getting more popular. It's not about like whether you're a good or a bad person. It's all about entertainment, and he's being his true self. Scared of me? <laughs> Subscribe then. <laughs> this is kind of cringe, but you know what? I, it makes a lot of sense why people would support him, because the world is not filled with just good people that want to see good people succeed. People just give a fuck. They don't care. They just want entertainment, and people get entertained from this. Well, yeah, because he has not put in a long time, man. <laughs> so these are the support cases okay, so the haters are basically saying, Did he quit YouTube? No uploads at all? So he disappeared? Unsubbed. Where's the any new slime content? Any new slime? Every time I fucking make a video, the motherfucking comments in my fucking videos, it's always like, I can't wait till your next Data Live episode. It's like, motherfucker, you, pick, you clicked on a fucking gate video. You didn't even fucking watch it. You just leave a fucking comment asking when's the next fucking series that you're asking for. It fucks me up, but I get it. I get it, right? These are the loyal, loyal, you know, uh, followers. Let's hang on a little longer. Kids these days need to learn patience. Back in my day, the old guy's still here. Ding, right? This is the old fella. His chat is always highlighted like this. Ding, I wonder if he's going to be an important character in the future that actually shows up or if he's just going to be a prominent chatter because, like, he is the most uh, popular chatter in the viral hit streams. <laughs> is it? Is it because of Bakko that the channel is falling off? A little bit. The bullying last episode definitely shut Hobin up. But at the end of the day... Still up to him to make content. I feel like, yes, Paco played a big part in it, but it's Hoban's ultimate decision to just go offline and not upload content. And at the end of the day, if you don't keep delivering what people want, like here's the thing about like, uh, here's the thing about content creation. It's that no matter how much there's gonna be these kind of people saying, oh, we'll support you no matter what. We'll keep waiting, we'll keep waiting. At the end of the day, while it is true that a small fraction of people actually believe like this, most people don't give a fuck. They just want to be entertained. If you're not going to be there, someone else is grinding and delivering that content. And there's no hard feelings. There's no some loyalty that, you know, there's, some, there's no entitlement. It's just like you're either there and, and delivering value to people who is actively waiting or you're not. And I feel like it's kind of Hoban's fault for just not being active. Like, I get it. The bullying, you know, really sent him down. But again, we were just practicing for a month, right? So with all the grinding, I think it's time to come back. <laughs> To be fair, it's embarrassing to show your face after publicating a role like that. True, but then I would argue if you were truly content-brained, you would be able to use the virality, the humiliation into your own favor and then get another hit video. Because people are expecting you to come back and kind of make fun of you for all the shit that happened when he got publicly embarrassed like that, if you can lean into it and just act like it's not that big of a deal, you can, like, when you embrace the... Like when, when people make fun of you for these kind of traits or you're this type of person, make personal insults, rather than taking it personally, if you can embrace it and don it like a fucking armor, no one can hurt you anymore because you own up to your own faults. Put on that clown makeup. And you will. Motherfucker. But he'll take it. Snapper will take it. He got no other choice. I don't know if this is true or not. I feel like this is true. 
when has Hobin and Snapper actually had like a really friendly moment? They're just kind of using each other. Was that really friendship though? I don't think so. Not until today's episode at least. Bro, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck are you doing? You're going to go to the fucking mom in the hospital to see where he is? This is like next level. Oh, come on. You're gonna lie and say yes. What are you gonna lie then? Mom, I feel like you're giving away these details too easily. But I guess if it's for the sake of her son and she's not too, I don't know, she's a little gullible. But it's like if it's for her son, then I understand. And then immediately beat up. And then he immediately clapped up. <laughs> this is so funny because, like, Bako is the villain. We're supposed to hate him. But Snapper's also a piece of shit at times. So, whenever Bako, like, beats up Snapper like this, it actually feels kind of good. Like, he totally deserves this shit. I can recognize that Bako is a piece of shit, but also shitting on, you know, Snapper like this. <laughs> Please come here and save me! Wait! Snapper standing up! Okay! Uh, actually, first good thing he did today. Wonder what made him want to do that. So far, he's like, shit. I have to, you know, I have to make sure that, what's it called? Like, I need to survive for my own things. But like there, he just kind of like said, fuck you, Bako. I'm tired of it. As, as this fucking song is playing with the female lyrics at the behind, behind the scenes. <laughs> Mama's 42. Pretty young. The mom. Hoban said that? Hoban actually told mom that he's so glad to actually have a friend? Oh, the guilt. Imagine the guilt he felt. And that's why he probably protected Hoban. I, I bet he didn't even like go to the building, right? He didn't. He just said, nah, I'm gonna draw the line right now. I can't do this. Damn. Damn. And no shot that he could sell out Hoban now. <laughs> Fucking snapper, man. He's such a piece of shit, but at the same time, because he's a piece of shit, whenever he has these, like, good moments, it's, like, even highlighted more. And the thing is, like, he's so self-aware the entire time. He's like, I know I'm a piece of shit. I still did all these things to you. And, you and then... I think this is when Hoban shows up. <laughs> yeah, this is it. We're literally in front of him right now, right? Okay, I can hear you, bro. I can. I can. Let's go. Yeah. Boy, here we go. One month of grinding. Let's go. Here comes Yellow Jacket. I still don't know why she's so invested into Hoban. Record. Oh, what are they back? The stream is on. <laughs> even the chat, we've been waiting. Welcome back. What you been up to all month? Studying the chicken man's videos. I hope he watched like all oh, like 1,000 videos. How many he had? Just a fucking master of you know street fighting now. Mm. <laughs> What's the title of the comeback video? Oh, he already said that last episode. Dude, this is gonna be good. Wait. Isn't the title literally? Yeah. He is copying the cock man. Chicken Man also had a video that said how to fight and beat a regular person. I mean, copying YouTube titles not that big of a deal. Everyone fucking does it, but I'm like, wait a minute. Does she actually care? Maybe she does. He's saying something, but the message on his hand. And then when I say this line, oh, wait. What, I, what do you mean when I say that? Oh, he was prepared. It's like, nah, there's going to be a moment where I give you a little signal and then you do this. Like, wait, what the? Make sure you film every move I make. Catchphrase. Don't miss this, viewers. And then when I say this line, don't miss this, viewers. Then what? Paco, you're also just as stupid. 
Okay, blocks. Right? Early, early capture of the forehead, and then... Bro's weaving. How do we counter the uppercut? <laughs> <laughs> this is me in fighting games. So many noobs. If you play fighting games, I just spam the one fucking move over and over and over and then over. <laughs> I mean, if you are going in with like, you know, basically cutting the punch early with your forehead, and the counter to that is the uppercut, then you know the uppercut's coming. So how do you dodge an uppercut? Like this? And then you hit him back? I don't know. Uh, with the comeback video. No, I think a girl as good as her doesn't care about this bullying humiliation shit and she actively is rooting for you and wants you to come back. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, right? Just gotta get paid. You better make another video, man. If this were an anime, some miracle will suddenly make me stronger. Yeah. It's watching Chicken Man's videos. This is the miracle right now. One month of grinding. That's right, Chicken Man! How do you hit back? One month for one video? Straight up. I thought he just like grinded all of Chicken Man's videos, but no. He spent the entire month grinding for one video. One move? Built? I'd say body. <laughs> okay, he's basically eating well. He's been bulking. Has he gotten a little bit muscular? I, I think that in amateur fighting, weight is probably the most important factor of whether or not you win. Like, of course, you've seen little guys take down big guys, but those are like experienced fighters that get a really clean hit on the jaw. Like, in amateur fights, weight class really dominates everything. That's why even in professional fighting, right? Like boxing, MMA, there's different weight classes. It's really hard to fight someone that's heavier than you. What what the fuck did he put in there? No. Raw meat? Ra oh, oh, oh ew. beef, I think. You you can eat raw beef, but like That's nasty. Bro. Look at like something's fucking shield cooked up. In. So for No 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 you fucking puking that's all the calories wasted bro what are you doing? How about you make an actual fucking smoothie instead of putting raw steak in there? Come on, way isolate powder, dude. What are you fucking doing? Stamina? Willpower. The willpower to fucking shove down these smoothies. So an entire month, are you telling me the entire month, the training was just him slamming down these disgusting smoothies and the willpower to keep doing it? <laughs> He's doing squats. It's like home workout in his bathroom. What's he fucking? It's like laundry detergent. He needs weights. He doesn't have, you know, barbell weights. So he's got like these laundry detergent, you know, thing. Stamina. Cool. I think that scientifically this is correct. Swimming is actually one of the most OP ways of doing exercise. Not only because of, you know, it's the most effective building stamina, because it's like basically full body workout, but like once you get older, you got to take care of your body. And when you run, like it really fucks up your joints. Now, this is some boomer shit, right? You guys are fucking zoomers. You guys are young kids. Y'all don't give a fuck. But when you get older, your joints get fucked up when you run. But when you're swimming, it's all about just like resistance training in water. It's actually one of the most like healthiest and most effective ways. You <laughs> what is he doing? He's fucking shadow boxing in the pool. <laughs> He's just punching in the fucking pool. Eh. Really? That's an actual. This is gonna somehow boost your metabolism by swimming with your fist like that. <laughs> He's not even doing it in the fucking swimming pool. 
Pearl's doing it in the public bathhouse. Yo, Korea, Asian bathhouses. Like, if you're like, if, if you're from North America, you've never been to Asian bathhouses. Yo, bathhouses in Asia, everyone just butt, fucking butt naked, also bald. Call the sack. <laughs> Careful, <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> we all cover that Grandpa crack. <laughs> Do you see this guy? He's got the blow dryer and it's going down. Bro is literally blow drying his pubes, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look! I'm not, I'm not even making it up. Look at him! He's got the blow dryer on his cock! I mean, like one month. Like you can't expect dramatic changes in one month. But if you do this every day, in about six months, I think there will be some change. Nothing is instant success. You gotta build up slowly. Uh, brawling? I think like uh, wrestling for sure. I, I think like, I love striking. I think boxing, like striking is cool, right? You want to kick, you want to punch, it's cool. But in practicality, street fights as brawls, if you can like ground pound somebody if you can grab somebody and throw them down right and be able to just like fight on the ground i, I think that's a lot more practical <laughs> judo like shit like that wrestling okay. wrestling jujitsu judo like, like boxing it looks cool in a fucking ring with actual well, actual rule set in the street fight no one gives a fuck about that they're just gonna tackle this is my tyson's tattoo isn't it it's blonde Mike Tyson. Yo, he's about to fight Jake Paul. That fight's gonna be fucking insane, man. This is straight up Mike Tyson. Yo, Mike Tyson's Japanese is so good. One skill, not boxing. Okay. One skill, not boxing. Oh, he's going in! Yo, a low kick kind of hurts, man. Why is a low kick so important for amateur fights? Bro's been punching a trash bag for the last month, chugging those fucking protein shakes, going to the swimming pool, and just fucking kicking a garbage bag in his boxer for the last month. I'm like, once these low kicks land, the guard drops, right? Your legs get down, and then the you know the uh, the the other body kind of opens up. Hard work never betrays you. Your work ethic won't betray you, so he's practiced this one kick. <laughs> Cringe Central. Probably studied online. A low kick, lol, lol, lol. You can't learn martial arts. <laughs> yeah, whenever shit like this happens, I sort of got chat just becomes like professional MMA fighters. Like, whenever something happens, the like, chat loves to start backseating, bro. Like, you talk about one specific topic, and it's like, hmm, actually, I'm a physician. Oh, no! Old man, he knows his shit. No, no, no. All these fucking phonies here, they don't know their shit. But OG son, dude, right on target. What's the, the value of the low kick? <laughs> Amateurs, am I right? Here comes the pro lol. Go away, know it all. Yo, he even has a voice now for the chat, bro. <laughs> what are you calling all know it all? You old man, boomer. The calf kick. <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh, I thought he was already subbed. I, I was about to fucking sub right now. He, he saw that low kick, the calf kick, and he's like, you know what? You earn my fucking respect. Oh. So there's a bit of a running gag now with Moonsong where it's a bit. Because he's not. He's a little slow sometimes. I don't think he truly understands, right? So like, I think that um, there's gonna be like a misunderstanding of maybe him like kind of glazing, you know, Hovind when Hovind's like, what the fuck is going on? Was that a like instead of a sub? Maybe it was a like. I thought that it was going to the subscribe button. 
Run away! True. Everything is fair in a street fight. He's running away, lol. Boring. What's he doing? Nah, 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 nah. In a street fight, all that matters is the win. And the moment that he wins, all these chatters shitting on him right now for running away, they're gonna be glazing him. Yo, even the girl is fucking hype. Why are you guys watching the... Moonsong, the fight is happening in front of you. Why are you watching the fight as if you're not in the classroom where the fight is happening? Why are you watching it through your phone right? Maybe he likes the chat. Maybe he likes, you know, seeing the chat happen to him. Like, what's going on, bro? <laughs> awesome. I'll follow him forever. Seriously, awesome. Lol. Did he just shout calf kick? Well, he did. Holy shit. I just realized because this is technically like real life, right? This is not like an anime setting. This is supposed to be like real high school life. So I guess it is super cringe when you have a fucking name technique and you fucking yell it. <laughs> cringe. <laughs> It's on purpose. It's on purpose, Moonsong. More misunderstanding, because bro only learned one calf kick throughout the month, right? Guarded! Ah, shit. What's the next move? Dude. Oh, we got quite the fucking crowd. Every time, she keeps doing this. And I thought that she was a piece of shit gold digger. And maybe she is a gold digger. Maybe she's actually empathetic towards, you know, Hobin. I don't know. She keeps doing oh, multiple times today. <laughs> Do we got any other moves? <laughs> we got a second? What, what, what do you got? <laughs> oh? You got that on cam? I want Moonsung to drop his phone and be like, He's the chosen one! Lisa Nargaib! Moonsung's reaction, where is he? The entire class saw that. Everybody here saw that. Nobody's fucking around with Hovind anymore. That's your voice! <laughs> Why is it this guy's voice? My friend. My friend. Is that personal? Do you have a word on your ass? And this is the same mom, by the way. That snapper said, I bet your mom got cancer because of you, Hoban, you piece of shit in episode one. Look how far we've come. Oh, you a baby? <laughs> the alpha of the room has acknowledged. Does he want to fight Hoban, maybe? He's like glazing Hoban up a lot. I don't know. Like, you're an actual, like, rookie all star MMA. Hoban's a fucking amateur fighter. No shy. I, what is this look? Is he impressed? That's it? Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Oh, I get it. The look from these guys was because of Moonsong. My bad. My bad. I, I, I'm like, why the fuck are they actually getting scared of Snapper? But, and then he just showed up. My bad, my bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought this look was at Hoban's, you know, and being like, oh my god, he's seriously good. He was crying. Tears of joy. All that one month of hard, hard work and the suffering before that finally coming to fruition. I will be crying too. <laughs> Ain't no way you're gonna say that! Fucking YouTube line! There ain't this emotional moment! That was the line, right? Snapper, get ready! I'm gonna tell the viewers, guys! Don't forget to hit the subscribe button! Like the video! Bell notification! <laughs> I can't believe he fucking said that, dude. <laughs> we're, we're back! 
is Paco also fucking watching Chicken Man videos and training for a month and coming back? 770,000 views, bro. Yeah, you did. Nah, it's not a lucky punch. Luck is preparation meets opportunity. If you were not prepared for that one month and did those swimming fucking punches, this would have never happened, bro. The opportunity showed up and you were prepared for that moment. He was so close to hitting one mil. <laughs> I thought that he was feeling sentimental for Paco. Damn. I can't believe Puck was gone now. I watched that scene of him getting punched every day. I wonder if he feels bad. <laughs> and then he's like, nah, hope his channel fucking dies too, bitch. I'll be there for your downfall. <laughs> I came from Paco. You're funny, lol. You and Snap were such a good duo. And when you piss off a loser, this happened. 100k sub, play button. I mean, it's a special moment. He gotta fucking throw up his fucking gap, bro. Like, what? what is going on, bro? <laughs> no one looks better at groveling. <laughs> Good job. The arc. What? The oh, 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 that's actually pretty cool. Well, that's actually pretty cool. I, oh, I didn't know what he was actually doing there. He was putting it up there. And <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> New tubu. 180,000 yen. Yo, how much? How much was the Gucci fucking jacket? The, 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 the shit that we got last time. Wasn't that like also roughly same ballpark around, right? I think it was, right? Snapper. There he is. <laughs> this, this is actually like such a... Well, it, it's like bringing like a basket of fruits. Like it looks like some luxurious shit too. Like it's like proper manners. It was all a misunderstanding. She never thought the snapper was his friend. <laughs> it was Moonsuck. And the snapper thought he was talking about that. Oh god! Don't tell snapper that! Don't tell snapper that! Oh no! Oh no! How did this happen? He heard it! He heard it! He heard it, I think! Oh no! Oh, we're, we're friends now, right? Before it might have been, I'm sorry. He, he did suffer a lot. He's a douchebag, but he's kind. Perfectly summarizes Snapper right now in the show. And that's the episode. Today's episode was triumphant. Straight up, the total opposite of last episode. If last episode was humiliation, today is redemption. Comeback. Bro is back. Spent an entire month watching a fucking one viewed video. It, it, isn't that insane? Bro spent an entire month watching some dude that has a chicken fucking hat on on YouTube that has no views. But he's like, you know what? I'm gonna listen to you, stranger, because it worked last time. And I'm gonna spend the entire month blending the shitty fucking smoothie, working out for the stamina in the swimming pool in the fucking old man, you know, fucking bathhouse. And just 1,000, like how many leg kicks was this? 10,000? 100,000 fucking low kicks, man? Some Bruce Lee shit. Fear not the man that knows, you know, 10,000 moves, but the man, no, 10,000 skills practice once, but the man that practiced one move like 10,000 times or something like that, right? Man, it's, I don't really know about like actual fighting. What the fuck do I know about fighting? But I have seen some street fighting and I do understand that boxing and stuff like that. It's not the most like, it, it looks cool in like a rule set, but like in actual street fighting, I thought like wrestling, you know, takedowns, tackling, jujitsu, stuff like that was like really important. But if you're just going to focus on one single skill, right? If you're just going to know one thing, even Mike Tyson told us. It's the calf kick, and you have to say calf kick every time you fucking kick to make it sound even cooler. My man is back, better than ever. Don't know where Bako went. Hope he fucking just goes away. And I guess we're headed to a new arc starting from next episode. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.